one of the successful parts of my weight loss campaign has dealt with calorie restriction. In other words, I definitely restricted my calories per meal. And we know that right now scientific research is giving us all kinds of information showing that calorie restriction helps with fighting against major killers such as diabetes and osteoporosis and heart disease and stroke and even against the fight against obesity. And basically my purpose for calorie restriction was not to fall prey to any type of food disorder like anorexia or bulimia. But what I've done is, is I've left just a little bit of room after I eat. And I usually graze about four meals a day. Small meals, small portions. I've gone through these on previous video clips. But I leave just a little bit of room in which I feel just a little bit hungry. And I do this because afterwards, then I, then I literally give this to God in prayer and ask Him, Lord, this little bit of hunger that I have, I'm asking for the bread of life. I'm asking for Jesus Christ to be my sustenance. I'm giving you the fullness of who I am with you forming in me. And this has been a wonderful way to have spiritual worship. I haven't done it for the purposes of inappropriate eating or dieting, but it has been excellent, fantabulous, and my ability to worship God is by having restricted calories and allowing just a little bit of hunger where I don't get filled up on gluttony, where I don't listen to my body dictating what I should do. And what happens is, in the long run, is that I have trained my body. And after a period of time, after first doing this, you start to lose the large areas of hunger. You start to lose a lot of the excessive appetites for sugar. You start to lose a lot of the need for food to bring you the emotional comfort that you require for your life. Instead, those things get literally projected and given unto God, and He starts to fulfill those. So, leaving that little bit of room under calorie restriction has allowed me to hand over a lot of things with a broken and contrite heart to God in worship.